Yeah, look, no cap. I'm not even gonna touch it. It's blue hundreds right here. It's all the blue hundreds are right there behind that receipt. Thank you. All oh, that's my money. He didn't have that. This it, is your money? Yes, I heard him crumble it up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's that ain't my money. money. That's my money. I wasn't stealing it. I did take it out and I forgot I put it in the damn door. Okay. Well, I would, I'll probably go talk to the sergeant. I am going to talk to the sergeant. Yeah, I would go talk to him. Just take the uh, whole holster off. It's one of them. Two of us. I got it. Um, I just want to apologize to everyone. I say, man, I one of these things, dude. And I'm, I'm sorry. The man you just heard apologizing is Henry Chapman, a veteran officer with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department who was caught red-handed. In March 2024, Chapman's 15-year career unraveled for just $900. This video will compile body camera footage of the initial interaction and the aftermath. On March 14th, 2024, Chapman responded to a backup call made by a traffic officer who stopped Mr. Moon for speeding. Oh, sir, come on, step back here. Go ahead and face that call. Put your phone on the top of it. You're being arrested. You are under arrest at this time. You have a warrant out for your arrest. I'm going to show it to you in a moment, okay? Is this your car? It's my girlfriend's car. My girlfriend's car. Can he drive it, the guy that's in the back? Yes, sir. Can he use the camera? So, what am I there with? I'm going to show it to you. Do you have a license? Yeah. Not a valid one, okay. Do you know someone that has a valid license that can do? Okay, that's fine. Just sit tight. Dude. He's got a warrant out for his arrest. Okay. A U.S. Marshal warrant, federal warrant. Alright, so. So uh, I'll wait till she gets here, then, uh, then we, we should begin to go. Right. Appreciate it. As officers place Mr. Moon under arrest, they search him before placing him inside the cruiser. At this point, officers discover $7,900 on Mr. Moon, and on balance of probabilities, Chapman identified this as a payday, due to the fact that Mr. Moon had a federal warrant and was probably a career criminal who would not make too much noise about dirty money. The body camera footage clearly shows the sequence of events, capturing Chapman's actions. Right, just a bit, bit, sir. Let me get this stuff out your way first. All right, Whenever she gets here, y'all pretty good. We can we gonna go ahead and uh, transport him. So whenever she gets here, y'all pretty good. All right. Yeah. Now, yeah. We we gonna we gonna take him with him, so he'll have him. All right. Now get my phone, get my, get my phone. These two ain't the phones, you won't. You give this? 
Given that the money was supposed to be evidence in the suspect's arrest, Chapman's concealment of the cash compromised its availability for the investigation, fitting the definition of evidence tampering. This irony is clear, but will the prosecution charge Chapman with evidence tampering? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Valid or yeah. they don't think it's valid? No, they do, but they're just doing more. They have to send them. I'll send them, okay. Those uh, tobacco products in there, you want to give those back to me, I'll throw them in that car. Which one, this? Yes. Yeah, whatever those are. What is that, sir? Oh, like that. Smoke stuff? Yeah. That's that. Like oh, that. Fake stuff. Let's see. One cray. Moon. Well, right here, U.S. Marshal Service. Out of Allerton, Virginia, took this war out on him. Yeah, the U.S. Marshals out of Arlington, Virginia, took his warrant out on him. Well, that's what it says right there. It was issued on February 26th of this year. Coming out to help each other. Clearly, I was like, I don't have a car. Well, I was uh, I was down at the county line on the plaza. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and I was sitting there, right there at the bridge, and uh, I heard dispatch call you. You ten four? Yeah. I just need someone out here. And I was like, he said he needs someone out there. Then I heard you say, I'm out here on the line. If a Hickory Grove is available, send a Hickory Grove. And I started coming this way. And then when uh, not a Hickory Grove was available, I, I was I was already coming this way, and I, I just for some reason out there I tried to key up. Uh, he's ready to go though, as far as transport goes. I don't know. How late is he? Uh, supposed to be just the eighteen hundred. Another hour. Yeah, I imagine you probably don't want to take it down yet. Nah, that'd probably be a while. Well, it's just a warrant, so it should be a drop off. Right? It doesn't matter. I don't know, though. I don't know if you've seen that. Is it federal? I don't, I don't know. They don't I haven't rung a federal guy down. I don't know how that works. Can no. you get my money? No. Yeah, this is going with, with him. Uh, no, that's where their headquarters is. The Charlotte office of the U.S. Marshals is the one who took the warrant out on him. Well, what's the warrant? Weapons offenses. Weapons offenses? Yep. Do you know who this is? I know, I'm assuming it's a girlfriend. She got driver's license. We'll have to find out before she drives that car. 100%. He does not. Oh, he doesn't have a... Did you find him at all? I found him. I think he has a twin brother with a probation OFA or something. Yeah, he's got a twin brother. 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 Yeah, he's got a twin brother
The car is registered. It's registered to me. You got your driver's license on I you? I sure do. Thank you. I'm not a call. Won't be long, okay? You need anything with her? Okay. You're good. Have a good rest of your day, alright? You too. You need anything from us? You got any questions? No. Did I get out? Yeah. Okay. 10 4 I'll be en route to the team office. One mail. Beginning mileage 101 794. Now say it one more time. I can hear you now. Okay, so I'm on, I'm transporting you to our team office. Okay, to the university team office for right now. Uh, so I don't know if the uh, marshal is going to come to the team office and get you, or they're going to come to the jail and get you. If the U.S. marshal is going to come to the team office to get you. Or gonna, we're going to transport you to the intake, Mecklenburg County intake, and they're going to come pick you up there. Yeah. For your warrant. Yes. This is this is not a county warrant. It's not a state warrant. This is not a CMPD warrant. This is a federal warrant. So federal agencies have their own holding facility that you'll be transported to. Oh, I don't know. I would say so, since the Charlotte office took the warrant out on you. I would say it's probably going to be at the federal courthouse. No, it, it just says they took the warrant out on February 26th. What? What was that? Three weeks ago? Yeah, about three weeks ago. Three and a half, maybe. And it says the offense was weapons offenses. So, I don't... Other than that, that's what it tells me. No, no, you're fine. Well, they're gonna they're gonna talk to you about whatever this offense is, and they and they they will give you the specifics of why they took out this warrant. Does that make sense? about this warrant, yes sir. And then they're either going to, but then they, they're going to do what they're going to do. They're probably going to transfer you to a federal holding facility until you either stand trial or you're arraigned somehow. On the way back, Chapman engages in casual talk about the case. At some point between the small talk and answering his mobile phone whilst driving, Chapman manages to extract $900 from the stack of cash. Mr. Moon observes this, but does not challenge Chapman until they are in presence of other officers. Hello? Hand. I think, yeah. 
She's gonna count your money. I there's more money. Him touch my money. You there's more money in here. Me. You're saying that, that there's more money in here? But what I'm saying is Let that, me ask you a question. Ask my question. Are, are are you saying that there's more more money in here? What I'm saying is he just touched my money and went through three different four compartments and I seen him put it in between his legs. I heard my rubber band. I've been nothing but okay. cooperative with you guys. All I wanted you guys to do is okay, watch. I'm saying but he already right. moved and did a lot of different stuff. Okay, come through. But y'all already let him move, like, there's no way. Like, watch. That's crazy. I can't believe y'all just did me like that. How much cash do you have on you total? So I can count it out and we can verify if it needs connection. That's what I'm asking you. We, we can you know, this do you right know what now. the total amount was? No, I honestly don't. The money was 
for a bill. My wife gave it to me. The one that just, she tried to give me, I tried to give her the money. He said, don't give it to her. Okay. Because I went to Wendy's. I got a Wendy's okay. receipt right. But do you know how much cash you had on it? So I can count it out so we can verify the total. Do you know approximately how much you had on it? If I say a number and I get it wrong because he touched the money, then it's going to be all wrong. But I just don't understand why I heard my rubber band being popped. I and just grabbed it from the safe to give to her. That's not what you just told me either, boss. I did. That's what I did. And I handed her the I'm not going to lie, boss. Have, I gave, you, have I gave you any problems? No, you sir. You have not. That's all I wanted to ask, sir. I just don't understand why y'all couldn't. Like, I'm not going. I sit on my face. I'm not going okay. nowhere. And I just want to. I'm going to ask you how, what your total was so we can count it out. You can watch me count I'm it out. I'm not sure. I'm distraught. It's, it's a lot going on. I didn't okay. even know I had a warrant. I'm just trying, okay. to, I'm just trying to, like. So if you. What's it called? I'm trying to, like, just, like, comply with you yeah, guys. I got but you. But that just doesn't make sense to the point where, like, I just watched him. Me and you both watched him move his hands. I watched him tear up. I watched him look at you and tell him, like, look at you, look at you and tell you, no, you're, like, you're not about to. I, I just watched him do way too much when I haven't been nothing but nice and compliant to you guys. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to go along with you guys' protocols and everything. All I've done was ask questions so I know how, like, to make sure I'm safe and my family can find me and stuff. I and it's like, I and know. And that's why I was asking you what your total was so we can sit here and count it out. But and they we can verify that it's correct. It would have it just helped me more seeing that you would have checked him. Like, but, but, like, but like, did you not see me walk or walk over here? I did see that, sir. Like, none of y'all, none of y'all, like, none of you guys' body cam is on, like, like I know. Mine is on right now. But I know for a fact what I seen and what I heard. And then when I asked him why was he, like, popping the rubber band on the money, he said I was just making sure something, but it's no need to make sure, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's my property, you feel what I'm saying? And I know for a fact the money was touched, but it's a million compartments. Yes, I on. did touch it. When I grab it out of the seat. I understand, so I don't want to argue with you, Mr. Chapman. I didn't know what No, I sir. Know. Okay, so what we I typically do is count how everybody's money is front of them. You can count it again, but I'm not going so to lie to you. So you can see that it's the accurate. Money was, the money was altered before. So when I turn it over to property, you can verify that the total we're counting out now is the total that you're going to get back. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you good with me doing that right now? Uh, yes, ma'am. And then you can tell me... Do you have any kind of idea about how much you would say you had on you? But I'd rather you count the first so I just know you, in my head. But if you tell me afterwards that it's missing, that doesn't verify. But if you, know you guys would have stopped him within the whole... If you tell whole, me you how much it was now, I can count it and we can verify if it's missing. Okay? I understand what you're saying, man, and I appreciate everything. But I feel like you guys don't understand what I'm saying. But it's okay. I'm not sure. You can count it out. I, I just... Like, you counting it out right now would just let me know exactly how much you took. But I'm not tripping any things. I'm not trying to cause any problems or any, any uh, Miss, Miss Casperson. Miss, Miss, Miss Casperson. I'm not trying to cause any problems. I just know what I know, you know what I'm saying? But I know. I heard the rubber band pop. I seen him fiddling. He did not just, like, he did not just keep his hands up the whole time. Like, like no, I didn't. He, he didn't open the door and say, you can search me. Look, he, he, you know what I'm saying? I heard my money. Like I like I'm a I'm a very great business. I just paid bills all a couple of days ago, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I just know for a fact that he touched my money. And then he was adamant about not giving my money to my wife or uh the uh, the cameraman that was with me, you know what I'm saying? He was just like, No, you're gonna keep the money on you, which wasn't a problem, you know what I'm saying? But him touching the money prior to just putting it in the like I've been listening the whole time. He asked for he asked for the small envelope. He didn't put the money in there then. He asked for like like it just it just doesn't make sense. But you can do your job. I'm not trying to like postpone or like cause a problem. I just want to see how much is missing out at this point. I want to count in front of you so yes, you can see how much that you have. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
five, six, seven, Look, 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 look. Come here, come here, come here. Come, yeah, come, come here. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, come, 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 come here. Okay. Do, do you see anything? No, yeah, look, no cap. I'm not even going to touch it. It's blue hunnets right here. It's all the blue hunnets are right there behind that receipt. Thank you. Oh, that's my money. He didn't have that. This it, is your money? Yes, I heard him crumble it up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's that ain't my money. money. That's my money. That's my money right here. Sir, you've been watching me the whole time. Not I time. seen you take it. I seen you crumble. Sir, it. Just that tell is it. not me. If I'm right, it's gonna be around a thousand dollars. If I'm right, and like I told you, I just went to Wendy's. I sell. I seen you still. No, sir. Um, if you if you don't mind, I just wanna sit down because y'all don't try to. I don't wanna do nothing. All I know for a fact is I know what I know and I seen it. I just want you guys to trust me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was just acting a little irate, but I'm perfectly fine. You know I'm sorry, I wasn't, no, trying, sir. I wasn't trying to expose that you. That is not me, bud. Brother, I just seen you steal my money. It was no, no reason sir. for you to pop my rubber band, brother. It was no reason for you to pop my rubber band off my money. I didn't pop your rubber band off your money. I heard it. Me and you just spoke about it. You heard him agree to it when, 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 when I first got I said, I heard you did the rubber band. You said, oh, I had to do something, something, something. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I just, I just okay. witnessed here today. Mr. Chapman went in my money. He separated my money. He was trying to steal it, and I caught him. He put it in between his legs, and as his, as his colleagues approached me, he worked it towards the door. He tried to make it seem like I was lying. I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm in full custody of, 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 of these officers. I'm being detained. I'm not going anywhere. I don't want any problems. I'm not armed. I didn't do anything wrong. I was just pulled over for a traffic stop. He just tried to steal some of my money. No, I was, no, I was just looking at the camera. No, I just know how it goes, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk. My camera's on the entire time, yes, all right? Yes, so let's take it down a notch. Yes, ma'am. I apologize. I'm We're so sorry. Here, okay. Yes, ma'am. So what are we going to do about this problem? Because he just tried to steal someone. No, sir, I'm I did not. I'm not trying to put any allegations on him. I'm not trying to say anything. I'm not, 
I'm not using my words like to try to hurt anybody. I just know what I know. And then I don't even like the fact, but I know you guys have like special protocol. I don't even like the fact that he just tried to steal and nobody like stood up for him. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody was like, I, okay. Nobody saw anything. But I saw saying, everything. But nobody would saw anything that you said. I appreciate saw, it, Mr. Okay? Morris. You his sergeant. Yes. Yes, he is my sergeant. You know, sir, I have 20-20 and I can read. I remember when you called him out, I could tell you everything he said to you. Perfect timing. This is perfect. Perfect did you call me out this time because you didn't know the protocol to how a federal warrant was supposed to be taken care of. Correct or incorrect? That's correct. That's the reason why I, I called him out to ask. But you just separate. Well, so what was the purpose of you separating my money while you gave her money while you just watched her count my money out in full? Because you just wasted an evidence. Uh, uh, you, you wasted an evidence folder. Because now she has to rewrite a totally different number. So if I would have agreed to the number that I didn't know when she asked me, then I would have been like ridiculed or foreseen as a liar or something. That's why I didn't answer your question, man, because I said that I had just went to Wendy's. I believe that's my receipt. I only ordered a 10-piece nugget, and I ordered like a fry or something. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know the actual amount of the money. All I know is when my girlfriend got off work at 5 o'clock, I was supposed to give her that money for the rest of the bills, and she was going to get her car back. I was in a car with this one. That's why I wasn't in my own car, man. That was my girlfriend's car, Diamond Alexander. That's why when you initially pulled me over, and y'all probably have my phones. You can see the call record. I called her at like four or something to let her know, babe, I'm being pulled over in your car. And my eyes, I thought it was done before the T tag, temporary tag thing, the sticker. But like, it was initially just for your speed, I promise. You. No, I apologize, sir. I apologize. Okay. I'm just trying to do what I got to do. But I know for a fact what I heard. I have 20 20 vision. I'm not a criminal. I don't do things that I'm not supposed to. I heard him tampering with that rubber band. Okay. That rubber band was on that money because my girlfriend gave me the money this morning and told me I wasn't even supposed to be in her car. I just took it because I didn't want to be moving around all day and my girlfriend had a car and she was going to work. I was supposed to be picking her up off Central Act at her job at her little where she do cosmetics at. With that money, we're supposed to go to the bank. What's his name? I'm pretty sure when y'all check the car, y'all see his name? little chase. What's your, what's, what's your full name? Moncree Tari Moon. M-O-N-C-R-E. Okay. Okay, last Mr. name. Mr. Moon, do, do we have all, all your information? Yes, sir. But I want to know what y'all going to do about Mr. Chapman. Okay. You, he was just caught at work. Mr. Moon. With evidence. Mr. Moon. North Carolina General Statute Section 14-221.1 outlines the crime of tampering with evidence. The statute states, If any person, knowing that an investigation or official proceeding is pending or about to be instituted, shall alter, destroy, mutilate, or conceal any record, document, or thing with intent to impair its verity, legibility, or availability as evidence in such investigation or official proceeding, he shall be guilty of a Class 1 felony. Okay, so so like if uh, if uh, you alleging that Officer Chapman did you know did Alleged, something wrong, so you guys don't listen, uh, listen. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm telling you exactly what I'm gonna do. Do do not parse every word I'm telling you. I'm telling you exactly what I'm going to do. All right, is that I I, I have to get on the phone. I have to call my supervisors to uh, you know to run it up the chain. All right. But you're, but you're, but you're, you're, you're still going, going to jail. Oh yeah, I understand. Okay. I wasn't trying but, to. But, but like, that's why I'm, I'm asking you if you gave them all of your information on how to get in contact with you. The statute for tampering with evidence requires an act of altering, destroying, mutilating, or concealing evidence with the intent to impair its use in an investigation or proceeding. In Chapman's case, stealing the money and hiding it could be interpreted as an attempt to conceal evidence. But prosecution may argue that the stolen money was not directly related to the ongoing investigation involving the arrested suspect. And therefore, there was no violation of the statute. Uh, do you mind, uh, do you have a piece of paper on you? Yeah, um, or? Uh, just for, like to put in my property. Uh, I would like um, for you to write down um, uh, Sergeant Moore's name. I would like for you to write down uh, uh, Mr. Lack's name. I would like for you to write down your name and um, Mr. Chapman's name. Right, and it's not, like, it's not like, it's not like, I just don't want to forget it. You let me finish working you because yes, I have to get you in my car. Okay? My information is also on the citation of her. Yes, I appreciate it, sir. I appreciate you guys for like analyzing the situation because like if it wasn't said like this or seen like this or foreseen like this, nobody would have believed me. You feel what I'm saying? And I just wanted you guys to believe me. And I'm sorry if I seemed irate or, another dollar in your pocket. or I'm sorry if I seem like 
I was doing too much. I just wanted you guys to believe me without me having to do anything like to show you guys, you know what I'm saying, like try to grab him or try to like reach in his car and grab the money while I heard it, you know what I'm saying? And I know it was a lot going on. Yes, ma'am. I need to Well, I just know, like, y'all be like. Yeah, I'll do that again at the uh, intake. Yes, ma'am. Alright. Captain, his ID is on the dashboard up there. Okay. Um, do you mind putting it in, uh, in my evidence file? Can I get like y'all names right there? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think everything's he's done. He's not suspended or anything, right? No. AP is done. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done. Um, I encountered him, he was speeding 68 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour in Paris by the plaza. Okay. That's what I thought about. Alright. Um, everything's been okay, I've had no problems here. Did you give him a copy of his citation? His citation is with you, did you give it to her? No. Can I get a copy of it and I'll put it, it with it was, the property? I know I saw it earlier. Now that was the old citation. That's an old one? Yeah. I, I, think, that's, I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. That's the one, uh... Oh, no, that's what you're right. Let me go get... I'll just print another one out. Yeah, if you could. Yep. Yeah. Wasn't stealing it. I did take it out, and I forgot I put it in the damn door. Okay. Well, I would... I'll probably go talk to the sergeant. I am going to talk to the sergeant. I don't have to Yeah, I would go talk to him. Did you have any other property before she takes you down? Any other property with you? What do you have? Do you only have his money right now? Yeah. Remember, your phones went with uh, your bu your buddy that was in the car. Let me see if there's anything else that's yours before she takes you down. Uh, uh, I know, like you're not supposed to really. Tell. What did he try to tell you when, when, when he walked over? He's claiming that he didn't try to steal it, but we all saw. What we saw. I'm not gonna so. lie, I don't have nothing else to say to you. I appreciate you, sir. No cap, like for real. Yeah. I really appreciate you for, for at least like like even in the playing field. Like you feel what I'm saying? When I say that I mean like like just not treating me like trash right. because of like and I, I assure you, like I pretty I'm pretty sure you guys hear this all the time. Everything I've said since you've seen me has been I know the, and, the truth. You can I, look up that I just had court. I want you to know also that What's happened today? From I not even this I moment. Don't, I, don't, even this I don't. I don't think all you guys are dirty. I don't yeah. think because you could have been did something crazy to me. You seen everything before they got there. I know that yeah. you're a good cop. I don't think that all cops are like that. I don't. Well, I appreciate. I just wanted it. you guys to see that. Well, the arrest, the whole entire thing, that was the furthest thing from what I wanted to happen today. Okay. I, I, I was out there doing traffic enforcement. And I clocked you at 60. I showed you the lidar. That's, and I was that was the entire you, reason. That that wasn't my car. So when I heard you tell them, like, I thought he was finna get. So I know you didn't have that I smart. was trying to pull no, over. Me. I didn't even I know. know I was trying I to know. pull over. You well, I knew you had it in gear still, so that's why everything's okay. But. I appreciate you, officer. And I appreciate you under the circumstances with you having a federal warrant and everything. You being I'm just saying cool because I don't know what's going on. And, and I appreciate I wouldn't that. Lie to you guys. Okay. Like I said, I appreciate it too. Um, and, and like, like I don't know. Like I'm very observant. Like my mom was military, so I was taught to just watch everything first. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I just told her when he like. I don't know. I'm big on I'm big on like energy. You feel know what I'm saying? So yeah. like I've been seeing like I seen the tears come to his eye in the car. I seen him swallow real hard right there. He keeps walking like cause he's he's gonna try to get you guys to believe like the fact that he didn't steal that. But there's no way like my money was in a rubber band. That's why I keep it like that. Like, I have OCD. You feel know? so anybody knows me? You know, I have OCD. That's why I kept. That's why all the hundreds was facing the same way. Yeah. That's why all the videos, I, I, when I didn't tell her how much money was taken, I really just wanted her to recount it out to see if hundreds was missing or fifties was missing. He didn't have time to go through the whole stack. He had time to remove the rubber band and put the rubber band back. That's all he had time to do, but I heard it. It's the last thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's I'm all gonna, I wanted to say. I'm, I'm not grab. trying to impersonate him. I'm not trying to talk your head off. I, I just you. wanted you to know how I knew. Like I said, I'm not disrespecting your colleague. I'm just glad you guys seen it, and, 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 and I just want... Like, if one of you guys can't, I just want you guys to be able to write you guys' names out. And that's just because, like, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate and, it. And that citation's got my information, but I'll give it to you again. My last name's Black, code number's five. And you looked two. over that citation, and you made sure everything... Everything's on there. Right. Yeah, it's then, just traffic stuff on my end. And, like, you know that, like, um, 
As soon as you told me, I seen you say, get over. As soon as you told me, I put my signal on, I got over. Yeah, and I appreciate that. And, appreciate it. And when it comes down to court, when it, all that stuff goes down, that's stuff I'll explain to them and say, hey, I had no problems here, especially under the circumstances of you having that federal warrant. But pulled over, compliant, no resisting it whatsoever. Yes, sir. We had no problems at all. I appreciate you, Officer okay. Have a nice day. Thank you. I'm going to get the rest of your property and move it over here. Okay? Thank you, brother. Hey, look, again, like, if y'all call my phones, my little cousin answered like 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 the the, the, the there'll guy. be someone else getting in contact with you about it an investigator of some sort yeah, i was I, I was That's trying to be like as manly as possible i was i was trying to not, like not let them, not like not to let my girlfriend get it, anytime phone. you make an allegation like that whether it's true or not they're going to contact you there'll be a full investigation that's how it goes thank you sir I appreciate right. it. Uh, let me get his chargers i think these are his phone chargers how do you have search okay yeah I don't, I don't know what's his or not. He's going to have to come over here and show it to me. Okay. Just, uh, just step out for a moment. You've been cool. I need you to show me what's your stuff and what's not. Just, yeah, come over here. Like, is this portable charger thing yours? Okay. And then the lighters are yours. Yes, sir. I think it's an orange one, if I'm not mistaken. It this thing? Be, I don't even know what that okay. thing is. It's only that pink one, that black lighter might be his. I don't think he smokes or anything, so. Shit, sure. he just put tobacco in his mouth. Okay. Well, if you're saying the orange one's yours, we'll take that. And it's, it might be like three cores. One of them should be like an iPhone 15 brand new charger, too. Yeah, uh, USB C and then a regular light. Yeah, and this is a second copy of the ticket that was there. So, but I'll just I'll put them both in there. Okay. Casper, I'll put them right here on your console. All right. The fallout was swift. The following body camera footage of Mr. Moon's interview not only substantiates Moon's claims, but also directly implicates Chapman in the theft and the attempted cover-up. Don't, don't apologize. Don't apologize. Alright. Like, I'm putting these on you because that's what I have to do by policy, alright? So... What this is, is it's going to be a administrative interview, all right? So, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking to uh, hit me up for any <laughs> charges or anything like that, all right? Yes, this is, this is strictly about what transpired today. Outside. Yep. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so we're going to talk about. From, from the time you were pulled over, I'm sorry, let me introduce myself, all right? Let me take a step back. My, my name is Sergeant Morris. I am the second shift sergeant, patrol sergeant for the University City Division. You you understand who, who I am? Yes, sir. Okay, and you are? Uh, last name. First name? Uh, M-O-N-C-R-E. Okay, birthday? 12-2094. Okay, so... The, the point is to just said administrative interview. So anytime there's there's an allegation of wrongdoing by a police officer, obviously a supervisor has to look into it. You, yes, you, you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. And you also understand that we all have these these nice body worn cameras that's that's attached to us, right? Yes, sir. Okay. For like when we come in contact with the citizens. Yes, I understand. Okay. So. Let's just uh, start off when uh, you were pulled over. Can I? Can you tell me what happened? Uh, well, like, what, well, like, obviously. So, like, so, like, you, so, you, so, you pulled over for speeding. Let's just simply, let's stipulate to that, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Officers ran, ran your name. You, you, you had a warrant for the U.S. Marshals, right? Yeah. Off, and then Officer Chapman showed up. Um, and uh, you was arrested, correct? Not Officer uh, Chapman, I think his name was Officer, uh, I think it was Chapman, right? The dude? Yeah. 
what's the lady? I thought the lady name was uh, Casper. Sir. Casper, so that's what it was. A different kid. Uh, all right, honestly, I, I was leaving Wendy's. Uh, uh, I uh, put my right signal on to um, get over. Uh, apparently, I guess I was speeding or whatever. Got pulled over by Officer Lack. Yep. Uh, cool dude. He ain't, you know what I'm saying, do too much. He just told me that he had to detain me due to the fact that I had a, a federal warrant. Mm -hmm. That much I don't know nothing about him. Just, you know what I'm saying, here with y'all. But mm -hmm. from there, he was on a dirt bike, so he had to call uh, a backup officer. Backup officer. Mm -hmm. to, uh, so at that point, he could, he could, he could uh, contain us or whatever. Um, everything was cool. Nobody, uh, well, I didn't resist or anything. I didn't know what was going on. Still don't. But make a long story short, uh, my property was took off of me. By, by, by who? By, uh, not Lack. Um, what's his name? Chapman. By uh, Mr. Chapman or whatever. Uh, my girlfriend pulled up to the scene of the crime, uh, to, like, uh, to get the, uh, the, the money, but he told her which he had also told me the money was on my possession, so it had to stay with me, which wasn't a problem. So uh, from then on forth, uh, I uh, remained in the back of Chapman's car, so my property was on the front seat the whole time. Mm -hmm. So as we pulled up to the, uh, well, we uh, remained on the scene for about 20 minutes, um, then we were cleared to leave the scene while your people... Uh, as we were clear to leave the scene, I just asked him. Okay, like, hold on for a second. Your uh, money, how was it packaged? Uh, it was all forward in um, uh, hundreds and fifties. Uh, um, it was uh, it was like all like chronological order, like hundreds, fifties. Okay. And then and, um, and like did did it have anything on it? As far as oh, a rubber band. Okay. Do uh, do you remember color of other rubber band? Uh, I think it was like a whitish gray, like not this color. The regular color of the band is like the white, off whitish right. gray color. So like that, like that uh, tan skin tones color? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So as we pulled up to the scene, after he had already told everybody, like, his property has to stay with him. And there wasn't no problem. Like, nobody was aggressive. Everybody was doing their job, their protocol, you feel what I'm saying? Make a long story short, we pulled up. Like, um, I just, like, was asking, like, each officer that I encountered, like, what was going on with me, like, what was happening, like, mm -hmm. so I could know, like, how to better my situation as mm -hmm. far as, like, getting out. So, uh, long story short, when we pulled up, uh, we were waiting for Officer Lack to get finished with his report so that they could start, like, mm -hmm. transferring me. Yep. As, uh, as everybody was waiting, I guess officers were leaving out, and they were saying that they would volunteer to transport me uptown to help you guys, I mean, to, like, help each other out. Mm -hmm. uh, he told Officer Casperone, whatever. Caperson. Yeah, Caperson, that she could take me. And then uh, he told Lack to, um, like, well, as soon as he pulled up, first he called you outside to, mm -hmm. to get, like, confirmation of what was he supposed to do with a federal um, a warrant person. Mm -hmm. So uh, you was already coming out. Make a long story short, as... Um, uh, Lack start bringing out the envelope for the uh, inventory. I mean, uh, for my stuff, uh, like my property. I heard I heard a rubber band being tangled with. That's when I asked the question out loud. I said, uh, "Why would you take a rubber band off the money?" And I can't quite remember the answer he gave me, but he confirmed to me that he took the rubber band off the money. And like it's my property. I'm a man, so I'm gonna watch my belongings mm -hmm. the whole time. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like I had stated, when Lack pulled me over, I was eating Wendy's, and that money was bill money. Like it's on y'all cameras. That when my girlfriend pulled up, she asked me for the bill money. Mm -hmm. So he told her like keep the money in my possession, which was you know what I'm saying, which was cool, which was in you guys as well, which was in his possession at this point. Mm -hmm. So as I was being transferred into the car. I heard the rubber band pop. That's when I asked the question, like, oh, like, what you doing? Like, like, what were you doing with the money? And he was, like, basically, like, like he confirmed that he was doing something, but he just didn't say what, or I don't know if I missed it, but I know we was, like, so, it, so it was five so like, of us so right like, there. You don't, you don't recall what he said. I don't recall, but like I'm saying, gotcha. it was five of us right there. So I know one of the cameras probably picked up on it, or his should have, okay. which I know his probably was off because he was stealing my money. But he kept, like, trying to, make it seem as if my eyes were playing tricks on me. And I heard the rubber band pop. And the whole while long, on, like what you guys would see on your cameras, I was talking to you guys 
rather, well, really at you guys because I was watching him. And the whole while long, I kept seeing him move his legs. And as soon as I said it and put it out there, he tried to put the money in between his legs and hand her over the stack. When I seen the size of the stack and Officer Casperon asked, asked me how much money was it, I didn't want to tell you guys the exact number because I wasn't sure what he had took from the stack. All I was sure of was that the way that I placed the rubber band on the money wasn't the same. It wasn't. Because I have OCD. But also... Hey, uh, sir, let me call you right back. Yes, sir. I'm, 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 I'm talking to him right now. Okay, so like, it's like a you open to stop this interview with them, because I'm speaking to him right now. Got you. Got you. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you. No, no, sir. But I'll call you back in a second. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. So basically, so basically, the money. Oh, oh, uh, Somebody hired me. Said to stop this interview. Yes, sir. Okay. There's there's people coming in to uh, to speak with you and investigators about that situation. Yep. Like I told you, right. I said I let apologize. Me, I wasn't me, trying to make hey, the situation hey, bigger hey, than it hey, was. Hey, hey. I just didn't want to be perceived hey. as a liar. Stop. No, I just seen on TV. Hey, hey, I chill just, out, man. Stop. Stop. Stop apologizing. I just don't want to make no listen. Like it wrong. Listen, listen, listen here, man. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Yes, sir. All right? CMPD takes this seriously. Yes, sir. Now, I wish I could say that another way because I feel like cursing right now, right? But what I can tell you is that we take you this... You heard what I said, But, like, right? we take this seriously, all right? I don't so, think like, you guys so, are all dirty cops. Chill out, chill out. Let me, let me finish my, my, my statement here, okay? We take this seriously, all right? Yes, sir. So, like, when I told you that, that I was going to do everything on, on my end to, to ensure that... The, like we we get this right, and I, I was gonna call call you back. I admit that. I appreciate it. Because if a, if a somebody's doing doing wrong, we we need to figure it out fast. All right. Yes, let, me, let, let me let me see your hands. Yes, sir. Like I got to miss Mr. McCullough. I appreciate you guys. You actually. thirsty? Um, a little bit. I appreciate. Which one to drink? Some water. Cool. Okay, give me a second. Notice how this particular officer makes eye contact with the body camera. Pay attention, as later on he will make a gesture to the sergeant to cut his body camera. This lack of accountability and integrity is troubling. Following footage of Chapman's preliminary processing shows the systemic bias and double standards some police officers are prone to when dealing with fellow officers. All right. Okay. So like this is what's gonna happen, all right? We we have people coming in. Obviously, they they have to talk talk to you, all right? So, um, I I'm gonna have to hold on to your weapon, right quick, okay? Yep. Go ahead. Take just take the uh, whole holster off. It's one of them. QLS. I got it. Sergeant Burke and the one that just take this one coming speak. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, just chill out, relax. You don't do anything. No, I'm. I'm. I just want to apologize. Everyone want to say, man, I. I'm. I'm sorry. Hi, brother. Yeah. Um. Anything to drink or anything now? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got your car. Well, we're going to walk out of here and close the door, okay, until they get here, okay, buddy? All right. If you need anything, all right? I'm, I'm good, Sarge. I, I appreciate it. Now who here thinks this is preferential treatment? A man has broken the law. He has attempted to steal.
whether that cash was evidence or not, is only applicable for the purposes of determining whether tampering with evidence charges were in order. However, the sad demeanor, the empathy that these officers show towards Chapman is evident for all to see. But would they treat a citizen with the same level? That is a debate for the comment section. Chapman was arrested and charged with embezzlement. The charge was based on the unlawful taking of money he was entrusted to handle. Chapman initially maintained his innocence, claiming a misunderstanding. However, the body cam footage provided irrefutable evidence. At the time of making this video, the interview has not been made available. Thank you for watching Audit Oblivion. If you found this video informative, leave us a like. And if you are new here, give us a follow.